Farmers in western Washington deal with challenging conditions, including flooding, low soil pH, disease, challenging soils, narrow weather windows, and depleted soil from generations of farming. The farmer, uh, his, he lives by what, the, what his soil will produce. And uh, if you have wore out soil where the, the organic's been depleted, etc., pretty soon you're, you're, you're not recovering your, the cost or inputs that you're putting into it. So you need to build that soil back up so it's healthy. This is my first spring on the land. Um, number two, it's been farmed for as far back as, you know, memory goes. So there's a lot of just damage that has been done. The WSU Compost Outreach Project in Snohomish County, Washington has facilitated research and demonstration trials utilizing commercially produced food and yard waste compost as an experimental input on local farms. Many participating farmers have expressed a desire to move away from commercial fertilizer use. We try to keep our commercial usage to a minimum. Economics are part of that equation as well as the damage that it does to the soil over long term. I think it's good that people know that we're, that we're trying to use compost and I think it's, it's really important that, that we have a good image because th we try to be, you know. It's not that we want to use a bunch of commercial fertilizer. We don't have the dairies and stuff anymore, so we, you know, we're kind of stuck. Local farmers are hesitant to adopt the use of compost for several reasons. Uh, one of the main barriers is the spreading of the compost. Um, we have to use our neighbor's manure spreader and our neighbor's loading tractor to load the manure spreader. So those are two main things that sort of shied us away from using it this year. It's not as convenient to apply as commercial fertilizer where uh, the buggy come out and spread a uh, hundred acres in, a, in an hour and be gone. Uh, compost, it's, uh, you're putting on a, a large volume and uh, uh, a good day, uh, you may be able to get 10 acres spread. Growers have expressed mixed opinions when it comes to local commercial compost. Um, it was beautiful. I would like my entire soil to look like that. That would be wonderful. I felt like I was adding a lot of those microorganisms and bugs that should have already been here if it had been managed properly. And we're obviously seeing a benefit with the compost. I've used the compost before in other uh, gardening situations, and it obviously is very fertile. Um, however, I am concerned by the plastic load in the compost and have been screening it out when possible. The compost is an amalgam of what people put in the bin. Yeah. It's better that we recapture that biomass than have it go into the waste landfill. I think that's silly, but I think that it is, it is on the part of the citizen. Um, there's an awareness that needs to be raised. Well, it seems as though it uh, works into the soil well, tills well, should improve the soil tilth. The product uh, has been fairly consistent and seems to be easy to work with. Many growers have shared that they cannot justify buying compost at the current price. At the conference, I told them I was willing to pay like five dollars a yard. Some guys just want it free and they want it brought in. They don't want to deal with it any other way because it's almost maybe like it's a byproduct. Uh, we have been purchasing our own compost, and we had been spending between three and six thousand dollars a year to buy in compost. And this year, we decided to not do that because of economic reasons, and we were going to try to maintain our tilt with. Uh, baked organic fertilizers. It's hard to put a dollar value per ton on it at this point. It would take a considerable amount of research and put together a lot of data to track the benefits so that we could actually put a dollar figure on it. Focus groups and farmer surveys we've conducted have revealed that most participants in the program have experienced benefits with the compost application. What we saw was a lot less disease. We've, we always deal with disease when I talk about downy mildew and powdery mildew. And whether it's squash or gourds or whatever, we see that in the areas where we plant often. 
and um, we saw probably the best pumpkins we've ever seen in that area except for when we first planted in there years ago. One of the problems with our farm is we farm on the Siliguamish River Valley and our particular farm has a lot of hard clay-like uh, river loam instead of sandy river loam so the compost helps break up that clay and allows it to dry out and be less cloddy for us as we uh, work the soil. Before they planted the wheat they'd gone over everything with their manure and their manure spreader and then done all the work so the whole field was was uh, basically similar. I measured uh, on an average about 12 inches high on the outside of the test and then on the one field it was about uh, uh, 15 to 16 and then the other one was up uh, to about 20, uh, 22, 21, 22 inches, something like that. So where you doubled it up it was, it was about twice as high. As so to get a baseline of the productivity of the ground we will put our first cutting up without compost on either area. We will then apply the compost to one of the two trial areas and we will then compare on the second and third cutting the volume of those two parcels, one with compost, one without compost applied. I believe you're going to see uh, uh, soil tilt improving. You're going to see uh, I would say a substantial increase in productivity, maybe uh, not in the first year so much, uh, but I think you know if you apply it several years in a row. Compost applications in agriculture often have benefits beyond the initial growing season. For example, although we saw no significant differences in yield in our 2012 corn silage trial, the subsequent overwintering crop, wheat for silage, benefited from the 2012 compost application, showing significant increases in both protein content and phosphorus uptake, providing not only better feed value, but also a more efficient means of managing soil phosphorus. WSU Extension Snohomish County plans to continue the compost trials into the future, involving additional compost producers and farmers and promoting information sharing between growers. I think most of the time we learn from each other more than anything, other farmers. Still looking forward to um, doing more trials and hopefully we'll see and be able to confirm uh, more results that are positive. And uh, I think as those results come out, uh, it'll be uh, more broadly used by the farming community and, and uh, so that's what we're looking for. By working cooperatively with local compost producers, government offices, and conservation organizations, WSU will continue to pave the way for a functioning local compost economy and promote sustainable practices for maintaining local farmland. I think it's a, a real positive uh, step that we're looking at going back to getting the organics and compost back in the soils and it'll be a real plus for uh, for future generations. It is pretty wonderful to be a farmer in the Pacific Northwest with all WSU does for research and organic farming and different farming methods and I'm glad that people are looking at better ways to farm and there's some conscious scientific intent and you know cash even behind that that's you know I feel really supported as a farmer out here which is excellent.